project uh, concerns the JORC code issued by the Australasian Joint Ore Reserves Committee, JORC. Pioneered by the Australian mining industry, the code forms the basis of similar codes worldwide. Canada, South Africa, the UK and the USA. The team of Dr. Casalos from ANU, Professor Lyon from UQ, Professor Sidhu from UNSW and Ms. Yu from UNSW investigate the capital market impact of the 2012 revisions to the JORC code. The mining sector comprises a significant proportion of the Australian Stock Exchange, with metals and mining alone representing nearly 10% of the ASX market. Industry market capitalisation is concentrated in a small number of firms, with the top 21 firms representing over 85%. The skewness in the big group is extremely large, ranging from uh, 1 billion to 100 billion, that's BHP, with a medium size of 2.6 billion. Small mining firms are tiny by comparison, with the smallest firm having a market capitalisation of only 910,000. The 337 small firms attract only a modest proportion of market liquidity, hampering efforts to easily raise equity as required. The industry is characterised by high uncertainty, low probability uh, outcomes and high capital intensity. Access to capital is crucial, but information uncertainty is a challenge for valuation. So is information asymmetry between internal and external uh, stakeholders. Reducing uncertainty and information asymmetries is a potential mechanism for improving access to capital. Lowering price protection, that is reducing cost of capital and improving liquidity, since noise traders are less afraid of potentially transacting uh, with informed traders. The JORC code specifies minimum requirements for public reporting of exploration results mineral resources and all reserves. It provides a system for classifying tonnage and grade estimates, taking into account ge geological confidence levels and technical or economic factors, and requires that the report is prepared by a competent person, which is defined in the code. The underlying principles are transparency, materiality and competence. The JORC code and the ASX uh, revised both the code and the listing rules in 2012 in order to keep up with international developments and to ensure consistency and confidence in public reporting during a time of increasing demand uh, for Australian uh, resources. The 2012 edition of the JORC code materially increased the reporting obligations for mining and exploration uh, companies with a higher level of prescription and a greater emphasis on the definition of terminology plus an annual reporting requirement. The changes require specific disclosure of methods and techniques as well as the consent of the competent person who prepared the report. The requirements for data underlying disclosure of highly uncertain estimates were strengthened and the conversion of resources to reserves now required feasibility studies taken into account uh, a, myriad, a myriad of factors including operational, economic and financial. The response to the changes uh, has been mixed. Some market participants and advisors think that the new rules would improve transparency and make it easier for companies to communicate uh, with the capital markets. Others though have thought that the more stringent requirements for the disclosure of forecasts such as production targets would actually uh, hinder the ability uh, of especially junior exploration companies to acquire capital. But this project investigates the impact of the 2012 changes uh, to the JORC code. Uh, what I'm now going to give is some preliminary findings. Uh, firstly, around the announcement day price response, there is uh, some evidence, prima facie evidence, of information leakage at least 20 days before the JORC announcements uh, for announcing firms, an effect that's been magnified since the 2012 revisions. Small firms are more strongly affected. 
Since 2012, small firms also experienced a larger information effect in the three days around JORC announcements, as well as for at least 10 days after the announcement. This is consistent with the post-2012 reports containing more value-relevant information. Now on to liquidity effects. Uh, Bid-ask spreads of large firms are basically unaffected, but small firms have experienced almost a doubling in their bid-ask spreads uh, since 2012, irrespective of when this is measured uh, around announcement dates. In terms of probably informed trading, uh, small firms have experienced an increase in uh, 2013 in the probably informed. This is consistent with the earlier price response results, which are indicative of information leakage in, leakage in the pre-announcement periods for the JORC reports. The level of compliance with the new 2012 JORC code, the research team has employed experienced geologists to survey the quality of of JORC reports and the level of compliance with the code and expects a report on this in the next six months. So in summary, the 2012 changes to the JORC code were intended to provide more information and technical detail on estimates of mineral resources and ore reserves, in keeping with similar trends overseas and also to counter inconsistent reporting by Australian listed mining companies. The objective was to enrich the information environment, but the empirical evidence is consistent with unintended uh, consequences um, of increased information leakage, parallel with a higher probability of informed trading and reduced liquidity. This is consistent with uh, what is known as a chilling effect, with information being left in the hands of insiders for longer while more technical documentation is prepared. It may have caused uh, a chilling effect. Based on the above preliminary findings, the team will explore with industry experts the possibility of requiring or allowing more timely JORC type announcements, but with varying degrees of precision indicated. Precision would increase over time as geological testing and mining engineering considerations uh, progressed on each project. This would be consistent with the ASX's continuous disclosure regime and help to reduce the chilling effect.